Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark Mechanical tutorial. Go ahead and open the program. I'm going to be creating this part in millimeters. Let's give this a second to load. Okay, we're going to go to File, New, and Create a New Design. We're going to change this to uh, the plan view. So go ahead and just click right there. And then we'll minimize up here. And then we're going to be doing the soap dish and the soap. So we'll go ahead and move that over. We're going to drag a picture in here. Just use this as reference. And then we're going to go ahead and scale this down. So just go ahead and click on the, uh, the picture. Hold down the shift key and just kind of constrain it. And then we'll just throw this up here, in the, up here somewhere so it's not in the way. Okay, so now we're going to start off with our rectangle tool. And then we're going to go ahead and just create a rectangle. Actually, let's do this from center. So go ahead and get your rectangle tool again. Uh, check this box here to find from center. And then we'll just go ahead and uh, we're going to do this pretty big. I think 100, 110, and then we'll do um, 80 for the, for the width. Or actually, let's make that a little thinner. Let's do 70 there, like this. Okay, so now we want to round the corners. So we'll go ahead and uh, get our create rounded corners. And we'll just go ahead and do this uh, 7 millimeters. And then we'll do all these the same. Okay, so we have that piece there. So now we're going to go ahead and go to the, let's move this, put that up there. Then we're going to go ahead and go to pull. Let's spin this a little bit. We're going to pull this up enough to the, add this depth to the soap dish. Maybe, uh, let's just do 30 millimeters. Okay. And now we're going to sink this part in a little bit. Let me just scale this up so you can see. Right on, right in this area here, we're going to create. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and do our offset. Grab the offset. And we're going to do offset that. Let's do seven millimeters <clears throat> for our offset. Yeah, seven. <clears throat> Excuse me. Seven. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and create the rounded corners on this offset here. Let's go ahead and change this to the flat view so we can uh, go to the plan view so we can see the corner a little bit better. Okay, so go ahead and get the offset. Or actually, they create rounded corners. Well, this you know, seven just looks a little odd, so we'll go. We'll do four. Let's just try four. Okay, we're going to go four there. And let's do these on the bottom. Four. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and go to the 3D mode. Let's go ahead and spin this a little bit. We're going to sink this down into the material here. Um, I think probably maybe sink this in 10. So let's undo that. Let's... Just type 10, or actually minus 10, sorry, minus 10. So we sync that in. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and, um, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and shell this. So we're gonna go ahead and shell, and then we're gonna do like a two, we're gonna try a two millimeter shell, see how that works. If we want a little, we want this to be, down here. Okay, so this is going to be our base for the soap dish. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and get the uh, pool. We're going to go ahead and fill it all this stuff here. We'll just go ahead and round this. Let's go ahead and do uh, a round of uh, 1.5 millimeters. 
And then we're going to do the same on all this inside stuff. Pull this way. Type in 1.5. We got that. And then I want to um, do multiple click and do 1.5. Fill it on this as well on the inside. Okay, so now we have that is going to be our base. Okay, so now we're going to put our holes right here. So we'll go ahead and control minus. Let's go ahead and click on this face here and then do a plan view. We want to put some slots right there. So let's do control plus. And then we'll go ahead and grab that pan and then just kind of pan down. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put, let's put a line in the center here. We'll work from the center. And then, um, so we'll go ahead and just uh, click and put a line right here. And then we'll offset from this over. Okay, so what I want to do is go ahead and get our uh, circle. And then we just want to create a, uh, we want this to be even, so Let's go ahead and put a circle here in the middle of how big we want this to be. Let's just do uh, five, okay? So we're going to start here from the center so we can move this. So we're going to go ahead and go to move, grab that red, and we're going to move it up an even amount. So we'll just do 19, okay? All right, so now we're going to go ahead and um, actually let's undo that, undo. We're going to hold down the control key because I want to I want to make a copy up here of this. So we're just going to go ahead and move that and then type in 19. Okay, and now we're going to click this one, hold down the control key, and move to the bottom. And then we'll type in 19. All right, so now we have these. Now we can get rid of that one in the middle. Just hit delete. Okay, now get your line tool. Just go ahead and go from the... Uh, tangent point there on the sides okay now we're going to go ahead and get our trim away which is this tool right here and we'll just go ahead and trim these okay now we have this piece here so now we want to go ahead we want uh, two on the left hand side and two on the right so we'll go ahead and uh, just select all of these actually let's go to here let's go to the our mode tool, we're going to select this. We're going to go to move. We're going to go to check create pattern. And then we're going to drag this over an even amount. I like to do an even amount. So we'll go 39. So we're going to go tab type 39. <coughs> okay. Now we're going to click on this one and do the, and move. Actually, we want to put on the count. We want to put uh, three in there. Actually, we want uh, four. Is it four? Okay, we want four in there. Okay, so one, two, three, four. We're going to have a little bit more slots than theirs, but that's okay. And I'll do the same on this. But we want to go right mouse click and then we want to unpattern this. That's going to just give us these individual ones. So now we'll do the same thing here. Hold down control. We'll move this over. And I think we went 38 or was it 39? Let's try 39. I think it might have been 39. So let's undo that. Hold down the control key, move it over. Type in 3.9. Okay. Oh, actually, undo that. Undo. Hold down Control. Move it over to 39. But we want to create a pattern. So click here. Go to Move. Make sure that Create Pattern is checked. Hold down Control. Drag that out to Tab 39. Sorry about that, it was missing those steps. And then type four in there. Okay, so now we have our little slots. Um, now we can pretty much get rid of that. I don't think we need that anymore. So now we're gonna go ahead and spin this. 
And then let's go ahead and go to pull, and select all of these. I put a little bit more slots than the photo had. And then we're going to go to um, cut, make sure that's picked, and then we're just going to drag through. Okay, so now we have this little uh, soap dish. And the only other thing I want to do is go ahead and uh, go to pull, multiple click there. I want to add a small fillet here so it's not a weak spot. We'll do um, 0.8. Okay, and then select off of that. And then we'll go ahead and spin this. And I want to do one here as well. Type 0.8. Okay. All right. So I'm going to have to finish up on this tutorial. They're doing a roofing work, so it's going to start getting loud here pretty soon. Okay. So this is our soap dish. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and do the soap. I was going to do the soap, but I can already hear them make doing noise out there. So. Um, Okay, that's going to be our soap dish. Uh, let's go ahead and go to view trimetric. Uh, hopefully, actually, let's just do one more thing here. Let's go ahead and multiple click here, and then let's add fillets to these. 0.4, and then we're going to do 0.4 on all of these. Okay. Just so it's a little smoother. 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and then the last one, 0 0.4. Okay, I think that's going to be good. And then we'll keep the bottom flat. Um, we have two millimeter thickness, that's enough. Now you can go ahead and create this, print it, and then um, put your soap in there. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial on how to create a soap dish. Hopefully you enjoyed watching <clears throat> and you got some useful tips out of the video. And once again, thanks for watching.